Hello there, this is Mr. P. In this lesson, we're going to talk about coordinating conjunctions. These are ands, buts, for, nor, or, yet, and so. But what is a conjunction, first of all? Well, they are words that connect other words or groups of words in a sentence. Coordinating conjunctions, though, can connect two subjects, two predicates, or two sentences. Like the examples. Gulls and puffins are seabirds. So here we have ands. And we have two subjects. Yes, gulls and puffins. That's a compound subject, right? So, we are going to look at the next one. They swim and dive well. Hmm, good. So, we have and. And here we have two verbs, swim and dive. That's two predicates. So, compound predicate. And the last example. Gold soar and puffins swim gracefully. Wow! Wait! We have two independent clauses. Goals soar. Yes, goals is the subject. Soar is the verb, predicate. So, and, coordinating conjunction, puffins, subject, swim, gracefully, predicate. So, two independent clauses. More examples of uh, conjunctions connecting words in a sentence. Sam walked quickly, but quietly. He looked on the cliff and near the shore. So, he did not see any puffins or gulls. So, we have examples of coordinating conjunctions in connecting other words in a sentence. Now, what are they? Well, a good way to remember them is to follow the acronym FANBOYS. So, F for FOR. Formal spe speaking can be substituted with BECAUSE. Yes, so FOR formally can mean BECAUSE. A for and, N for nor, B for but, O for or, Y for yet, formal speaking, and can be substituted with but. So yet can also mean but formally. And S for so, be careful not to mistake a preposition for a conjunction. They are different. Prepositions are different. So, le let's look at the uh, examples and usage. So, and joins together an addition. So, swans and penguins swim. Good example. But shows contrast. Swans live on ponds, but penguins do not. Or shows positive choice. Penguins slide or waddle. Next one. For show reason. So, for shows reason. I wore my blue dress for everyone was dressing up. So, you can substitute for with because. I wore my blue dress because everyone was dressing up. Nor shows negative choice. Neither penguins nor ostriches can fly. Yet shows contrast. Brian hurried, yet time was running out. So, you can substitute yet with but. Ryan hurried, but time was running out. 
was finishing means running out. So, shows results. I wanted to stay home, so I told my mother I was sick. Great. So, let's do some exercise. Now, identify the conjunction in each of these sentences. So, identify and maybe highlight or circle or underline the conjunctions in these sentences. Pause the video. Okay, so here is your key. Parrots live in wild places or in zoos. Their beaks and feet are good for climbing. Tame parrots are friendly and loyal to their owners. Number four, most parrots live in jungles, but some live in grasslands. Number five, they eat seeds and drink at water holes. Great. Now let's move on and let's do another exercise. So this is the highlighting part of the exercise. Great. So add coordinating conjunctions in the sentences. Okay, so if you need to pause the video, please do so. I told you about it. You don't remember. She sees him every day. She doesn't speak to him. Bill refuses to eat bees. Will he touch carrots? I am a vegetarian. I don't eat any meat. Thomas will be late for work. He has an appointment. So pause the video if you need so. So here is your key. I told you about it, but you don't remember. She sees him every day, yet she doesn't speak to him. Bill refuses to eat peas, nor will he touch carrots. I will explain this in a minute. I am a vegetarian, so I don't eat any meat. Thomas will be late to work for he has an appointment. Okay, so you wondered about number three, I am sure. Well, refuse is a negative verb. Refuse means say no, so he doesn't want. Bill doesn't want to eat peas nor will he touch carrots. So, nor is for negative verbs or for negative sentences. So, refuse goes there with uh, perfectly with nor. So, if you have any questions, you may type them under this video. Please um, subscribe to my channel, like it if you liked it, and share it. Thank you so much and I see you next lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.